All right, happy Wednesday. This is part two of the shopping trip that I did. And yeah, I ran out of time in the other video. So we're just gonna make this Wednesday's video and we're gonna shop together in Goodwill. This is Goodwill Shillington, finding lots of good stuff. So I figured I would just continue on and uh, show you what's on the shelves and some lamps. Oh, this shade is very vintage. It's one of those paper shades. It was originally $4. Oh, look at that. It has like a brass. Well, that's interesting. A brass um, spines. Is that what this is called? Hmm, looks a little dirty. I don't know if that would come clean. Don't think so. Oh, this is one of the beaded chandeliers. This actually might be Pottery Barn. Let's take a look and see. Made in the Philippines. I don't know. This is Luminaire. That might be the brand. Let's take a look at it. Oh, this is nice quality. See how the metal is wrapped with like cordage? And we've got the beads going on. Two light posts. Oh, it is Pottery Barn Kids. Does the girl know her Pottery Barn or what? All right, we're going to take this. I'm going to put this in the cart. And first I'm going to check that it has all its beads. What do they want for this? $9.99. That's not bad. I'm thinking I'll probably get somewhere between 60 and 70. As an added bonus, we're gonna do a little more footage. <laughs> I just made that up. We came in for round three. We ate peanut butter and jelly in the car. We'd packed our lunch today. And I am walking down the clear glass aisle. Ooh, that's very pretty. I don't know who that is because I don't know glass. This seems to be red through and through. I don't think this is overpainted or flash painted, whatever it's called. Look how pretty this is. All right, I will try to Google image it so I can learn more about glass. And yeah, $2.99, that is gorgeous. I can't imagine that that's not a good thing. In the cart, it's going. Is this a cracked baby bottle? <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on here. That's very odd, I guess it's a candy dish. Very funny. All right, a single cup, no. What else? Huh, looks like an ice cube, but with ridges on it. All right, if I see one more clear glass decanter, there's a lot of throwing out or donating decanters in this town. That's kind of nice. What do they want for it? $4.99. Mm, and it's got some schmutz inside. Should I try this for $4.99? It is quite heavy. All right, and again, I will Google image this also. I think I'm taking this. I know, I'm just throwing caution to the wind today. The interesting part is going to be getting all of the, it looks like it's like floral seed pods or something in there. I'm going to have to give it a good washing, but on the shelf in my cart. I think I've mentioned I've almost stopped picking up dishes. Even Limoges, even Fine China. It's just not selling for me. Oh, I thought that said Harry's Blessings. Clearly, I need some kind of coffee or something. <laughs> okay, I do need coffee. I thought this was a tractor seat. Doesn't that look like a tractor seat? What is this? Okay, clearly it sits on a coffee table or a dining room table. And yeah, papaya wood. I don't know. All right, for $2.99. You know me, I'm a sucker for all good things wood. This was cut from one piece of the tree. I don't know what's going on here. $2.99, all right, I'm taking it. Okay, I know I said I'm not doing dishes anymore, <laughs> like 30 seconds ago. All right, this seems to be the sugar bowl, the creamer, the cups, the platter, all for $7. I always forget the name of this. Who is this? I don't even know. Let me see if I can get one out without hurting it. Is it marked? It's not marked. Oh, I should know who this is. Hmm. I can't remember. That's a dogwood, though. Definitely a dogwood. I'm going to have to Google this, too. I have no brain left. No brain cells at all. I'm out of brain cells today. It was a really good day. Very, very grateful. Goodwill did not disappoint. That is for sure. So again, I'm at Shillington. I'm telling you what, Goodwill CEO, if he watches, he needs to hire me as an ambassador for Goodwill. Because even though I complain once in a while about some of their policies or, you know, all the things, I make more videos about Goodwill than anything else. So I don't know. 
I should be ambassador for Goodwill in Pennsylvania. Now, I have been to a lot of Goodwills in other states. Oh, here's the rest of the set. Wow, $15, you could have all of that. Um, yeah, I've been to a lot of Goodwills all around the country, and I have to say, Pennsylvania Goodwills are the best. Definitely the best. These dishes are pretty. <laughs> this is not for me, guys. This is all for you. For you people out there that love to see dishes. All right, let's see who this is. Empress Maria Theresia. What does that even say? Wertherling? Wertherlissing. It's from Bavaria, Germany. I could tell that. Those colors are very not good. Not good colors. Oh, some canisters. I'm not shipping canisters anymore, but these are Taiwan, so they are vintage. But I am selling canisters in the booth. Here are the matching plates. No, different. All right. I think that's it for the style. Oh, I thought this was copper for a second. I don't think, no. This is like spray-painted copper. That's kind of nice, though, to keep all your mail or whatever in it. This is just from some store. Yeah, I don't think that was originally that high. I think it's like the Tuscan, not for food use. The Tuscan look to it. Yep, we have a teapot. Seems like there's some paint loss to King Henry. Is that King Henry? Could be. <laughs> Let's see if it has a brand on the bottom. I'm just afraid his head is gonna fall off. Oh, this is Jamie Sadler. Is that who it is? I think Jamie Sadler. Could that be right? I thought Jamie Sadler was... Oh, I'm thinking of Jamie Sadduck. That's tennis. Let me put on my glasses and see. If I can read that better for us. Probably not because the sticker's over it. Yeah, it could be. Made in England. Henry VIII. Oh, that would have been good if Henry didn't have paint loss on his head. Hmm. Now, I know people say, oh, you could use magic marker or whatever, but I don't like to sell things that have been doctored. Unless it's like something super rare. All right, facial bar soap. Savant en bar. <laughs> I think that means bar soap. When the bars are bigger, I do like to pick them up if they're high end. One time I found a bag of soap that was Sicily. Can I just say how much I love the company Sicily, but I won't spend that kind of money on personal products. I love Sicily uh, products. All right, I guess we're in the iron and wire aisle. This is interesting. Did somebody spray paint this? It doesn't look like it's spray painted. It's not that pretty, though. No, we have an owl made out of barn board. <laughs> I think that's probably Hobby Lobby. Good for them. I think there's a lot of people that love Hobby Lobby, so I guess they're doing the right thing. They're doing a good job. There's a fondue pot. I don't know that I want to stick cubes of bread in a big old pot of melted cheese with other people doing the same thing, but I guess a lot of people like it. This is Temptations. Now, here we go. Okay, so I picked this up in the very beginning, but then I realized how heavy it was, how much the shipping would be, and so I stopped picking it up. But now, I know a lot of people collect it, so I might be picking these up for the booth. These are too high. This is seven, and this is five, so too high. But if I find these for a couple of dollars, I'm gonna research what pattern is the most collected, and if I find those, I will pick them up for the booth. All right, I told myself, even though I said that I was gonna be picking up single mugs for you guys, I told myself don't get crazy with the single mugs because there's so many of them that I can't sell. Oh, who is this? This looks like Joanna Gaines, right? Is that Joanna Gaines? Yes, hearth and hand. See, now this is modern and so, you know, so well produced that I don't imagine that this would bring anything good. Oh, what do we have up here? Okay, those are kind of pretty. Canisters, is this false graph? It's nobody. It's got no name on the bottom. I'm almost thinking if there was a third one of those, I might get those. Those are quite nice. It's got like an orange poppy on it. Hmm, where is the third one? Do we see it? We don't. Okay, we do see a Starbucks mug. <laughs> I switch on a dime. 
turn on a dime. This is Colorado. Is this You Are Here? This is Starbucks, but I don't think it's the You Are Here. I'm going to have to Google this. It seems like it's faded. Oh, seems like there's a little dead baby spider in there. That's sad. Centennial State. But it's not that you are here. Okay, this is 2008. I'm going to look this one up. Okay, these are unsold because I didn't find any sold. So they have one cookie jar or canister for $48.59. Again, $48.59, $43. This goes on and on. Now we start to get lowered. $19.76, $18.12 for the little, I'm going to call that the airtight coffee canister. So none of these have sold. It is showing as treasure craft. So are these treasure craft? You would think treasure craft would mark it. I don't see any marking on these. Like I said, if I had a third one, I might pick those up for the booth because I think those would appeal to a very country aesthetic and I think they're very well done. $4. Mm, but I really feel like I need three of those. All right, I did not look up the Starbucks mug yet. Let's do that and see if that's anything good. All right, two of the Colorado Starbucks mugs sold, but theirs seem much darker in color. So I think this one is faded, and they only brought $14 and $19. Let's see about this shipping. That really seems light colored. See how dark those are? Oh, this one, a best offer, was accepted, and free shipping. Did they make any money at all? That's crazy. And $14.95 were best offer and it was 1080 shipping, so they probably didn't live all that far. All right, so we're putting that one back. That's not gonna be our one mug for the shopping trip. All right, should we go back to clear glass? I was doing clear glass. <laughs> I think I avoid doing clear glass. Oh, look at this little butter dish. Well, that's almost cute. Who's making that? $3 for a clear glass butter dish. I actually like that. I'm putting that in the cart, believe it or not. I guess it really goes this way. I kind of like it the other way too, though. I mean, you could do either. All right, that's kind of pretty. I think we're, we're putting that in the cart. <laughs> I should get that for my door. Mrs. Mrs. Roger. Okay. Oh, that's a big chunk of glass. Wow, that's big. $6.99. Is it signed? Oh, it is. O R R. Is that what that says? O R Orforv? Onaforv? I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look that up. What? There's a second heavy piece of glass. Let's take a look at that. Sorry. Well, that is beautiful. It's got like a little girl with flowers etched in it. Very heavy again. Oh, another signature, two in a row. Okay, don't know what that says. It's very finely. Yeah, it's got a bunch of numbers on it. Hmm. $3.99. Why is that one $3.99 with the girl etched it and this one's $6.99? I like both of those. They seem very sparkly. How's that for not knowing anything? All right, we're putting both of these in the cart and yep, I'm running comps. Can we just take a moment and appreciate how much clear glass I've got in my cart? Four pieces, I think that's a record for me. And I still do like this decanter, it's growing on me. This almost seems like a citrus reamer, doesn't it? Like one of those wooden things that you, you get the juice out of lemons, that's what it reminds me of. That's so pretty. Now I don't keep a bar at home, but I think somebody might want this. Do I want to ship it? No, but I'm gonna put my big girl pants on and yeah. I'm tempted to keep the butter dish. There's something about this that I just really like. It's probably not worth much, but it's just so pretty. Picture eating toast in the morning at, at the breakfast table and using this. That would be very fun. All right, four pieces of clear glass. Are you guys proud of me? I'm proud of me. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Okay, so Roger's doing clothing. I have a few pieces in his cart. I don't know how, things are just winding up in my cart, okay? I'm just throwing stuff in. So I find these and I'm like, these are very cool. What are these? I didn't know what they were. So explain to me what you said these, you think these are? I think you put a candle on okay. down here and then you put stuff in there and it burns it and for the smell. What stuff are you putting in there? Like wax? Um, I don't know. Isn't there stuff you can... 
<laughs> well, what kind of candle is fitting in there? One of those tea lights, the metal? So you think it's like aromatherapy? Yeah, that's what I think. And, and what are you putting in here? I want to hear more about this. I don't know what to put in there. <laughs> Whatever you want to put in there. Like little little wax melts or something? Do we need to buy this? Two ninety nine for the two of them, so a dollar fifty each. I don't see any markings on these. Who's making this? Up, oh, it's got a tag. Who does that say? Teardrop oil warmer. Smarty, smarty <laughs> pants. Do we want teardrop oil warmers? They're tied together, so they keep falling down. All right, I'm putting my foot down. I'm not buying that. I gotta stop buying. Are we buying that? <laughs> Waterford, silver plate, tarnish proof. What do we think of that? How much was it originally? $45. $45 and they want five. Mm. Do you want it? Uh, I'd have to look it up. Oh, only if it's bad, then you'll give it to me. Is that what's <laughs> happening here? All right, let's look in his cart. Now I've got some of my stuff in his cart because I don't know why, it just wound up that way. All right, so Roger's got a North Face hoodie I might steal. I owe him six bucks if I take it. He also found Victoria's Secret gold label. We had once talked about this, and the man has memory like photographic memory. He remembers everything, medium, large, new with tags. This is new old stock. Look at the tag. Is this great or what size medium? Uh-oh. <laughs> I might be stealing all your stuff. That's really pretty. It is, look at the shoulder pads in a robe. It is a medium, you even know my size. Nice, babe. Okay, you wouldn't lose me at night. Look how bright that is. <laughs> I love that a robe has shoulder pads. That is so funny. All right, you'll do well to sell that. That's gotta bring, I'm gonna guess $100. Mm -hmm. What do you have? Oh, what is that? Roadie guitar tuner. Okay. And what, it tunes your guitar for you. Yeah. $9.99. I think there's a couple sold for like $75. $75 really? and 85 And it's in the box. It's yeah, in there. Yeah. Do you think it's new? I don't know. I looked at it. It's hard to tell. Okay. I'm not even sure how to get it. I did look at it. Okay. There's a cord with a really? USB cord. And this was just sitting on a Goodwill shelf. Oh, there mm -hmm. we go. It's opening now. Oh wow, oh that so, looks quality. Who makes this, Rody? Or Rody um, is the? Band Industries, but it's something to do with Apple too, because there's an Apple thing on Apple the box. Apple has their branding on it. Oh, on the box it says something about Apple. Okay, well, that's pretty cool. What are you gonna, what are you gonna price that at? Uh, probably like 70. Nice, really nice, okay. <clears throat> Oh, I stuck this in the cart. We're not taking this, I don't think. I think I was just thinking, like, why don't these things bring money? <laughs> and if I ever found an antique one, which I know this one's not antique because it has a sticker on it, I'm afraid I'm going to pass it up. I want to learn more about Asian or Oriental. I guess Oriental is the correct term. Older pottery. All right. And one of the other things that we picked up, what are you thinking of this globe? Heavy. It is, but you know what's weird about it? I can't get it to stay sitting right, you know, correctly. Is it missing like a pin or something? But this is all made out of like seashell and different woods, maybe? That's a total guess. All right, so it should sit like that, shouldn't it? Maybe this needs to be tight and then it just falls. It's got a compass in the bottom. I will include comps. I'm not sure if I'm getting this. It seems like it's just gonna have problems. It's one of those things that like, I don't know. Do you want it? <laughs> I don't want to ship it. That's not hard to ship. Do you think that's especially breakable? No, probably not. We'll make that decision. All right, I think that's it for this part of the video. I do see other things that I want to keep throwing in my cart, like this magazine rack is kind of cool. It almost looks like a little doll cradle. I think that would be cuter as a doll cradle than a magazine rack. Oh, 
<laughs> I stole your hoodie. <laughs> he didn't even notice. All right. Oh, what? What? Look at this. Don't you want to just eat snacks out of this? I do. This is so cool. Oh, we're getting this. Six ninety nine. What does the bottom look like? Table? I have no idea. Oh, is it? Oh, is it missing a piece? No. Say it's not so. Something else was down there. Oh. Yeah, it looks like the. I'm very sad. Turntable. It had to sit in something so yeah. like another base with a hole. Because you can see like a round thing right here. Okay, like, like a, a mark. Can you make us one of those? <laughs> Still swivels. <laughs> As it pivots back. Oh, you this is so them. good, though. Yeah, but it's not going to match that wood. Yeah. Guys, look how good this is. It's almost like a flower. You could do all candy, different color candies for like a little girl's birthday. Jelly beans. <gasps> jelly beans. What flavor all jelly beans? Name your favorite, quick. I don't even know the flavors. You don't? No. Okay. What's my favorite flavor of jelly bean? <laughs> Buttered <Fruity>. popcorn. <laughs> Fruity. <laughs> All right, this lamp is cute. Fruity. What kind of guess is fruity? <laughs> oh, I really want the bottom to that. You buttered popcorn? Yeah. I don't eat a lot of jelly beans, though. They're not my favorite. All right, I do not know where this other, this other base is. Makes me crazy. Oh, really wanted that. Okay, even though I looked at this artwork in the last video, which really, this is the same day, I don't think I saw this. Look how adorable that is. I'm guessing it's just a print. I don't see any signature. And I'm not really one to buy like things that go in babies' rooms, but that is just so stinking cute. Look how cute that is. Yeah, see, it's stapled in, which, I don't know, was it sold that way? It could have been $2.99. For some reason, I'm picking this up. I think somebody's going to want this. Adorable. Is that a famous mouse? <laughs> okay, I never thought I'd hear myself say that while working. Is that a famous mouse? Look how cute that is. Adorable. All right, that's going in the cart. The randomness of it all. I'm asking Roger. Not only how much the bowl is, but how much the napkins that were in the bowl are. We were looking at um, laundry soap. We just buy everything at Goodwill. All right, this is very cool. This is a carved handle magnifying glass for $3.99. What do we think that is? Soapstone? Feel that. Wow. Isn't that nice? That is nice. Does your wife have a good eye or what? Nice. <laughs> Stroke my ego. Does it work? <laughs> Don't put it by my nose. <laughs> All right, this is a really nice basket, $2.99. Very much liking that. That is vintage, beautiful. All right, a tchotchka end cap. Um, I was hoping for a design. Oh, it's actually a little uh, cat dish. I was gonna say a fish dish, but that's not right. That's Dr. Seuss. Okay, Easter is almost upon us. <laughs> we're not even, we're not even fully into January. What is this? Ah, oh, that's cool. Is that onyx? I used to know all the stones. I think this is onyx. I don't think that's a crack. This is natural stone. That is very pretty. $3.99. Okay, that's not cracked. We're definitely putting that in the cart. Yeah. All right, putting that one there. And I'll give you a peek of what I'm getting for myself. Look at all the perfumes that came out. I don't know if these are genuine, so I wouldn't go ahead and sell them not knowing. Perfume is so heavily faked, so they could be real, but I'll probably just use them or give them to sisters or friends. So that's the story there. I'm not going to resell them. But the rest of the stuff is definitely for sale. All right. I think that is it on this end cap. What is this? Is that a birdhouse? Oh dear, look what just came out. Let's have a look at this. Look how old this plug is. Is that even safe? I don't know what year that's from. The little cowboy boot lamp, missing its shade. I'd be afraid to test this. 
McCoy USA. Little boots. That's really cute. I think you need the shade though. I think the shade to this, if I can remember, has a cowboy colored pattern on it. So yeah, I think the shade is probably very hard to get. Five dollars. All right, am I putting this in the cart? I think I am. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Whenever I get to this point in the night, I mean, we got here at, I think it was 10 or 10.30 a.m. Let me get to my clock. And it is 5.26. We have taken one peanut butter and jelly break in the car. We didn't even want to take time for a restaurant. We'll probably eat at a restaurant tonight. Um, yeah, when I get to this point, I feel like Macaulay Culkin, is that his name? Where he screams in Home Alone like, ah. <laughs> because this is cart number four, I think. Three or four, I don't remember. And I think we're about to head out. I think that is it for us as she looks at another item. Oh, thank goodness, a barcode. I don't have to put it in my cart. That is kind of nice. All right, guys, I think that's it for now. I think it's really it. Hit that like and subscribe button, and as always, go out and get what's yours. Hey everyone, as you can tell, we are down in the basement getting ready to pull shipping. Today is Sunday morning. Now, normally I pull shipping on Sunday evenings, but this evening I feel like I just want to relax and watch TV and make some popcorn. So I figured, let me get this done early. So I came downstairs and it turns into organizing almost every time. I love being an organized reseller. Many of you always say, wow, how do you stay so organized? and I just enjoy organizing. There it is. <laughs> a little strange, I know. All right, so I'm just going to give you a quick tour of the basement. For those of you who have been with me for a while, you know the routine. But for those of you who are new to my channel, I am a full-time eBay reseller. I also sell on Facebook Marketplace Local Pickup, and I also sell now at a vintage booth with my husband, who's also a reseller. We share a booth together. Recently, a double booth became available but it's not the one that we want. We're keeping an eye on a booth that is next to our single booth and we are hoping to be able to expand because month number one in the booth was really good and we have a feeling it's going that way. All right, so I'm just gonna give you a quick tour. We got this organized this morning. Roger and I did this together. We're always trying to figure out what works best for the amount of space we have down in this basement. This is 1,400 square feet. Can I just say, I am so appreciative we don't have to rent a storage unit. That is just everything to me. I bought this house with the intention of selling out of it. So it was kind of like, you know, looking ahead. All right, so this is the packing supply area. We are very low on boxes. Bubble wrap I'm gonna reorder soon. I recently talked about this bubble wrap. It is missing its inner cardboard tube, which I do not like. This is Office Depot. I won't buy from them again. That was an oversight on my part. All right, this is Rogers here. He's still settling in. He has been pressing into buy it now. So Roger is an auction seller traditionally. He's been selling for I think 22 years and he is moving over to buy it now. Empty boxes we're kind of putting up there. This is the only shelf in the house that has household like chemicals, paint, stuff like that. We always keep a fan running. I shut it off for video purposes and a dehumidifier. The basement is fairly good. It's not very moist down here. No mold or anything, which is great but it's probably because we have a really good dehumidifier running with the hose going into the French drain. All right, that's enough of that area. I want to keep this moving today. This is looking a little bit different. This is my area here. I pulled shoe racks out of here because they're blocking the light. And I recently had the socket up there changed and it's not a socket that I can plug this light into, so I have to change that out. But this is what it's looking like. Roger is growing his buy it nows. These are them here, and um, it's going fairly well. So he's encouraged with that. All right, so this is the organization I always have 
my whole life is on wheels. And when I want to move stuff around, super, super easy because I'm 63. Do I want to be like lugging everything? No, I want my whole life on wheels. These racks I bought at Seville Classics of California. I had them trucked all the way to Pennsylvania and I got a very good price. I believe I bought, I always forget guys, I think it's 18 of these racks. These racks are more heavy duty than what you find in Home Depot and they are wider. So the ones you get in Home Depot, I believe are either 48 or 60. Anyway, mine are wider. I made sure that it could fit three bins across. Um, here are my smalls up here. And you guys have all seen this. My taxes up here. I am just starting to prepare for this year's taxes. All right, coming over this way. This is where the shoe racks wound up. Let me just back up, stand. All right, so I had clothing racks along the back wall. I wasn't happy with that. I'm always happier with the shoe racks here. I have left myself walkways, so we'll see how all of that works. This is a lot of um, holiday stuff and extra linens. Linens. This is the only rack that I'm gonna have to pull this rack out, but that's, again, easy on wheels. All right, so now we come up here. I've left myself probably about four feet here. I know that doesn't translate on camera, but really easy pass through. And here is just a bunch of whatever. <laughs> I sell a lot of whatever. Tennis rackets and golf clubs are here along with uh, tennis racket cases. So this is what the clothing is looking like. I still keep everything covered in plastic tarps. I pull them off a lot of times when I go to pull big shipping because there's just a lot to pull. All right, so that's the story here. A little bit of packing peanuts here. I'm down to two bags. I buy these from UPS and I get 14 cubic feet for $34 some Christmas and vacuums and all the normal household stuff. I hang my wreaths up there. All right, three more racks over here. Two of them are for like add-ons or specialty pieces and the dreaded single mugs. <laughs> I have been selling them. I don't know that I will be picking up a lot of single mugs, but I have been picking up single mugs for you guys because you guys want me to sell single mugs and I think this one sold probably because you guys saw it in a video I'm gonna pull this before we even start pulling all right that's item number one all right so this is everything in a nutshell 1400 square feet I care for the basement a lot I do a lot of maintenance here wash floors vacuum floors dusting all the things which I think I still have to dust that top shelf all right, we're hoping to get more lighting. I think I'm just going to have an electrician come in and do it for me. Yeah, there's that. All right, um, I think that's it. All right, let's stop chatting. Let's get to pulling shipping. I think I have over 20 sold, so I don't know I'm going to pull everything because I want to get this video out. This is going to be a long video. This portion of the video you guys asked me to do. For those of you that are resellers and want to see what's selling, I think it's super important to know what price this stuff really brings. So it's great on Instagram for all of us to show like, woohoo, I found this thousand dollar item. But until you sell it for a thousand dollars, it's not really a thousand dollar item. All right, got my phone. We've got our first item. It's an anthropology mug that I just picked up like birds, chickens, whatever. All right, so let me go into, of course, oh, there we go. My phone recognized my face. How nice. I'm going to start at the bottom. We're going to do hard goods first. All right. The first item, $25, a Star Wars cake pan. I believe it's going to be up here. I try to keep little stools here because these shelves are about six feet high, I think. All right. So we're going to, oh, I see them over there. Let me just move this cat, this big old cat toilet paper holder. And I think it's that one there because I don't see um, any other cake pans. Let's move the bench over. Now the little benches I don't put on wheels because I'd kill myself. <laughs> There's that. All right, so here it is. Let me just grab this. All right, so this is C3PO, is that right? I hope that's right, because that's what I listed as, $25. And this is Lucasfilm's LTD Wilton. So they have a collaboration. This says 1983. So back in the day, somebody had Star Wars birthday cakes, and once again, somebody will be baking a cake. All right, 
The next item are the Shiny Brights, once again, $39.50. These are the blue Santa skiing. See, now I'm going to have to pull these racks a little bit. Not bad. So I'm just going to move this one up. I might even leave that one pulled up like that. And I have a second rack. And, oh, we can fit in here quite nicely. All right, so I remember that the Shiny Brights, the rest of them are in here. And I shouldn't have too many more of these. We should be at the very tail end of selling 23 boxes of vintage ornaments. Yep. These are them here. I'm going to leave all the bins open until I pull everything. I always say that because in the beginning I would open and close the bin every time, which was just ridiculous. $39.50 going out the door. Okay, we're going to grab two things. A little military cannon made out of iron and the Halloween black cat vase that I bought at the um, booth, at the antique booth, vintage booth. And I wanted to sell this through for you guys just to support another local reseller. She is the woman across the way from me at the booth. So first we're going to pull the cat. I just talked about this. I love these. These are great. And, um, she makes these. Karen makes these. That's her name across the way. This sold for $11, so I am just selling it for a little bit of a loss. I actually don't sell very many things at a loss, but I just wanted that one to sell through and somebody, one of you guys most likely, to enjoy it. And this little iron metal cannon thing. I don't know anything about this stuff, but there it is. $8. All right. Did we say what we got for the mug? Well, first let's pull four brass candle holders, $35. I was on the fence about picking these up, but I said, you know what, I'm gonna pick them up. Now I did pay, I believe it was either two or $3 a piece, pretty sure $3 a piece. And there were four of them, I found these in a Goodwill. So $3 a piece. $12 into 35 That's not bad. And the buyer pays shipping. Here's an item that I sell quite a bit of little miniature paintings. This is a print by Fiddlesticks. And most times, unless they're hand done, I don't get a lot of money for them, but I have a soft spot for small, tiny paintings or prints. I'm just very into these lately. I think it's so fun to group them on a wall together. I have a few hanging in my bedroom. All right, so that sold for $15. Next is the primitive, whoops, the primitive pig we've lost the primitive pig where'd you go pig all right let's get back into that 14 clicks for everything you do on ebay's mobile app all right there he is there ten dollars he's on a spring these are most of my wood items that are figurines but if he is not here he might be with the other animals okay <laughs> let's just move these guys down and here he is here. Again, I bought this at the vintage uh, booth. I do shopping there when I go to stock my booth, because why not? All right, $10. And what is next? Next, we have some Starbucks mugs. I had quite a few of these. Very slow sellers. Inventory A and E, for some reason. My mugs are over here. So this is the mug situation. Some of these, truth be told, I've had for a very long time. Let's grab A and E. Here is E. Now these mugs are pretty much the same, but I photograph individual um, mugs individually and list them individually because I don't want to take one photo of a mug and then, you know, have 10 of them if they're pre-owned. If they're new, of course, it's one listing, but I create separate listings for mugs that are pre-owned because you never know if one has a little scratch or something and the buyer gets it and is upset. $10 each, two separate items. I think the same buyer bought them, so I will combine shipping and I'm always happy to refund any overage pay, but I do not send invoices. So if you are buying multiple items, my best advice is put them all in the shopping cart, pay once, and then I'm always happy to, um, to refund any overage paid. Okay, little eBay commercial there. All right, the next item up is a Croso. Why is this phone so touchy today? Sometimes you can't get it to do what you want it to. A Croso Gold Hollywood Regency Victorian Wood Trash Can Red Roses, $38. That is right here. Gently lift it out. This is beautiful. Good for Croso. I don't know if I'm saying that right. C-R-O-S-C-I-L-L. -L. 
And I believe Croso was sold at Bed Bath & Beyond and Linens and & Things. You guys remember Linens & Things? I kind of liked that store, and I think they went out of business. $38 buyer pays shipping. Next up is the Paula Dean Wood Spice Box. And I thought this was very cool. I saw this. I knew right away that I would be getting this. See if I can do this with one hand. There we go. Move my Regency garbage can. A three um, compartment wood box. Beautiful. And I knew it was Paula Dean because it was marked on the bottom. Let me turn this over to show it to you. Paula Dean. I picked this up for eight and it sold for $22. So not bad. We're going to start on clothing to pull some of that because I know some of you guys are interested in hard goods and some of you are interested in clothing and some of you are like me that are just interested in everything. <laughs> I want to know everything about everything. First item up is a multiple order and it is Santana Canada Boots, women's size six. They are a sheepskin leather and the same buyer also bought an authentic Dolce & Gabbana dress size four. So I'm going to grab my phone. We're going to go back over here. I am so happy. Can I just stop and say I'm so happy I pulled the shoes out of here? They were blocking the light. And sometimes it takes me a few minutes to catch on to what system is going to work better. But like I said, with wheels, I'm always moving everything around. And I love it. All right. Dresses are here. Are you proud of me? I'm not being as chatty as I normally am. A size, okay, so Dolce & Gabbana, Italy, 40, but I categorize my items by U.S. sizes, so that would be a four. So the Dolce & Gabbana dress is going to be in dresses, small, solids. We're going to pull this spin. And the second item is the Santana Canada boots. Now, even though I keep men's boots um, here, along with a few pairs of random sneakers. Women's boots are in larger bins because most of these boots are calf um, length or calf height. So I do have about five bins of boots. Some of them are um, categorized by like rain boots and snow boots, like weather um, boots, and other ones are fashion boots, mostly by colors. So they're going to be in here because these are my brown boots. I just know that. I could put the color on it in case anybody is ever shipping out for me, but Lisa's the only one that ships for me when I go on vacation and she knows the routine. All right, so I'm going to grab the boots out of here and that completes pulling that order. Okay, I don't know if I mentioned prices. The Dolce & Gabbana dress, $44. And the boots brought $32.50. So those are a combined order and I will be shipping those out together. This next item is an Amish Mennonite handmade cape dress, red stripe, and I always give the measurements right in the title because these dresses are all handmade. They don't have any labels inside. So putting the measurements in the title really helps a scrolling buyer know right away at glance if it's going to fit them. I do inventory these dresses with a letter. So this is letter inventory K. And I hung the dress up on a little nail on the rafter so we could take a look at this. This is kind of like a tone on tone pinstripe. I'm guessing that this this is a polyester cotton blend, just a guess. I think my buyer understands that when something is handmade, the original maker of the dress would know what the dress's fabric content is because they bought it from a fabric store, but I would not. So I always try to take a guess and give them what the material feels like. Also, I always denote anything that's going on with the dress. This dress is held together with safety pins. It also has snaps. I know a lot of the Amish community do not have buttons on their clothing, and I've sold quite a bit of that, but this dress I think is Mennonite. I'm not exactly sure, but you can see all of the safety pins. It could be that the dress was not completely finished, or it could be that the original um, maker of the dress or wearer just wanted to use safety pins. Either way, $19.99. I believe I paid two or four dollars for this dress. And um, it's not like 
these dresses fly out the door, but they're always consistent good sellers for me. Most of them sell between $20 and $34. I know that's a big range, but there's a big range of quality of workmanship and material with this type of thing. But when I moved to Pennsylvania, I said, okay, what is this area known for? What do they make? What do they have a lot in the community that the rest of the country might want? Sometimes you guys leave a comment being surprised that a shopper is online from the Mennonite or Amish community and they do have computers. They have computers in their workplaces and a lot of the Mennonite do have computers and they do shop online. $19.99, that's the whole story with the dress. All right, so next up is a cottage core dress, a 20W Sostanza, Sostanza, $59.50. Now this dress is either going to be on the dresses rack, but I think I probably packed this one down because I've had this I think it's the one that I got in Virginia. Once I see the dress, I will know if it's that dress or not. Okay, so dresses are here that I haven't folded down yet. Yep, must be folded down because most of this are the handmade Mennonite Amish dresses. All right, let's go over to dresses. And what size did I say? 20W. Mm, so nice to be getting this done early in the day. All right, I'm going to have to pop this one back up because it's blocking my extra large. Oh, I might be able to pull it out. Let's just let's just go for it. Oh, it's heavy. OK, so I said a 20W dresses, extra large prints. So anything extra large and up are going to be in extra large. And here are my extra large and plus size dresses. Here it is here. So stanza, plus size. So this is a vintage dress, 100% rayon. Look at that tag. And there is the handmade tag. We always label everything so we can find it. We, meaning sometimes Lisa, is good enough to come in and help me pack, which I think I'm going to be working on packing this week. It has gotten to that level. When I have this much hanging, I really need to get stuff packed and put into bins because the bins become empty and then the racks become full. It's always, always things moving here, guys. All right, $59.50. So we're going to put that to the side. I'm gonna take this plastic bag off. I reuse these plastic bags when shoes are in them because I don't ship out shoes um, in these bags. I just put them to the side and I try to keep most of my shoes in bags, but I always leave them open because if the item is leather, leather wants to breathe. So that is the whole story there. Okay, I'm gonna take that dress off the hanger and we're gonna keep going. This next item is a men's L Etienne, Etienne, I think that's Italian. Silk sweater, merino wool, it has a flaw. Even with a flaw, it's sold through $28. Now I don't purposely pick up flawed items, but when you're picking up volume, a lot of times that just happens. I always have to make the decision whether I think it has enough merit left to sell it, that the buyer is gonna understand there's a flaw. I always put flaw in my title. Well, almost always when I remember. Um, yeah, $28, that's not bad for an item that has a flaw. And these are my sweaters of colors. Men's sweaters, colors, men's knit sweaters, colors and I have neutral. I think it's going to be in this one. Let me see if I can pop this down with one hand. All right, so there are my sweaters. Oh, I think this is it here. Oh, it's upside down. L. Etienne large men's silk sweater. I never realized that silk is a, um, a material that keeps you warm. When I first started selling, I knew some fabric information, like I knew um, different attributes of some of the different fabrics because my mom was a seamstress and you know she talked about stuff like that but I never realized that silk kept you warm when it was a knit. I thought that was really interesting. So this is what the label looks like. It says El Etienne pour homme. Pour homme. Can't say I can't say that in French, but it means for men. And uh, twenty-eight dollars. I don't even know what the floor was. I'm not even gonna bother looking it up. It sold through. I listed it. Done. All right. Next item. Are we finished? We got that. I think that. Oh, see and be seen. This is a boho peasant blouse, and I have not folded this down yet. Eighteen dollars. I think. Oh, here it is here. I was going to say, I think it's over there. 
Ooh, I got caught. My tassel got caught. All right. I love stuff like this. <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> Look how beautiful that is. How fun. This is gorgeous. Very Southwestern. Did I put Southwestern? I did. Look at that. $18. All right. I think that's it, guys. Is that it? Did we get everything? No, there's more. Talbot's Petite's Cardigan Sweater. This is a 02 Petite. And I got lucky. That's right here. This originally went for $129. This is new with tags. Talbot's Petite. So a P Petite, I would think would be an extra small petite, but I list it in my title exactly how Talbot's put it. Then when I come to item specifics, if I need to say exactly what size this is, extra small, small stuff like that, I look it up on Talbot's uh, petite size chart online. And that way the buyer really knows what they're getting. And okay, one more LL Bean Women's 3X Teal Pull over warm sweater, $30. I think this might be folded. I'm going to quickly look at this rack to see if I see it, but I'm pretty sure that one is folded. That's not it. All right. So it is a warm sweater. 3X is going to be in plus sizes. These are my sweaters here. And sweaters, sweaters, but colors and prints. We're going to pull this bin. All right. Last bin for shipping. Oh, right on top. I feel like I won a prize. <laughs> so as you can see, my bins are really starting to empty out. And that is why I have to get to folding. That's probably going to happen this week. When I fold things into these bags, number one, these bags I buy on Amazon. You guys, that's probably my number one question. Where do I get the Ziploc bags? I go into Amazon. I put in a search, Ziploc bags for whatever size I want. I buy four different sizes because I have such, you know, a vast array of stuff. And, um, and I just buy whoever's cheapest. I do look for the better quality. So my poly mailers are two mil thick. I think these are two mil thick also. But anyway, um, there is the LL Bean 3X. I'm going to bring all of this upstairs. Now, like I said, it's still Sunday morning, and I'm probably going to have a good selling day, so we'll have to pull again later on. But at least I'll get a jump on it. All right, guys, that's what things are looking like. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, go out and get what's yours.